Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Far Harbor Fallout 4's newest DLC. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique lever action rifle called Old Reliable. We will also run through its various mods and how it can best be used. And of course to acquire this weapon you do need the Far Harbor DLC installed. To acquire this we will need to come to Arcadia. You are led here very early on into the DLC so you should have no issue finding this place. And on the Pipway map it can be found to the southwest of Far Harbor. Once in here we need to find the man with a giant crack. Cranium, Dejan. Once he is located, we need to talk to him and head to Barter. And in the weapons tab, down in O, we will have Old Reliable for sale. And of course, the price of this weapon will vary depending on your character's current charisma level. Now, while we're here, I would highly suggest you buy the 4570 caliber ammunition. It is a new type of ammunition that has been introduced with the Far Harbor DLC. It is also the ammunition that Old Reliable uses. So again, be sure to grab some. As always, before looking at the weapon's base stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effect applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of Old Reliable. Now let's move on to modding it out, and of course remember you can mod yours out however the hell you want. But for this video we're going to be going with the advanced receiver. As we can see it gives exceptional damage and improved rate of fire. This will take the base damage up from 70 to 113. Next I'll be adding the long ported barrel which gives superior recoil, range and sighted accuracy, but gives poor hip fire accuracy. Adding this will increase the range from 122 or the way up to 206 and increase the accuracy by 9 from 61 to 70. Next we'll be adding the Maskman Stop which gives exceptional sighted accuracy, superior recoil and aim with scopes and improved bash damage. Now personally I'm going to be going with a long scope. You can of course go with a long night vision scope. They have exactly the same stats only the night vision is of course in night vision which I found performed extraordinarily poorly in the fog of Far Harbor. And just in terms of literally being able to see I found the long scope much more usable. Therefore I'm going with a long scope which of course gives superior magnification and sighted accuracy. And finally I'm going to be going with the compensator which will increase the accuracy by 1 but reduce the range by 8. As we can see it gives improved per shot recoil, improved recoil control and reduced range. You could of course rightfully so argue that the suppressor is a better choice which does exactly the same thing but it also reduces the range by an extra 18 points but of course it suppresses the rounds so it's much more likely you will remain stealth while firing at enemies. But hey we've got old reliable who needs to suppress the fire. And of course, I just prefer the sound of a non-compressed rifle. And God but the compensator does also give that extra range, meaning you can reach the enemies that are on the horizon. And now that Old Reliable has been modded out to my liking, it has a base ballistic damage of 113, it uses the 4570 rounds as ammunition, its range is 194, its accuracy is 113, its weight is 17.1, and its value is 1162 caps. And of course, where all the specialness comes in, up the top we can see Old Reliable shoots an additional projectile. Now it seems that Bethesda spelled backwater rifle incorrectly, but I mean, yeah, yeah, whatever, Old Reliable's fine. Now of course, probably the keenest and most exciting feature of this gun is its legendary effect. It fires two projectiles. So every time you pull the trigger, it shoots two bullets, essentially dealing double the damage. Now the two projectiles will remain together as one. They do not travel as two separate bullets. So when you fire, there is no chance of one missing and one hitting. They either both miss or they both hit. Now of course this effect, basically just double damage, can be used in any playstyle. If you plan on not having a scope and using it in like close range, just down sight shooting it wherever, you're going to get the benefit of the double damage. However, if you want to be a sneaky character and do like long range shots or even, you know, just any range shot while sneaking, that double damage effect is going to be multiplied many times, of course, with the sneak bonus. Let's just say you do double damage and it takes damage up to like 200 and then you get a sneak bonus of two, you're going to be doing 400 damage. And of course, when you think about perks and extra perks, sneak perks, sniper perk, rifleman perk, bloody mess perk, you can start doing headshots for around 2,000 damage. So this gun's, pretty, you know, it's got a little bit of kick. That's why it's called Old Reliable, because it is damn reliable. One of the biggest limitations for this gun is the reloading. Now it's got an ammunition capacity of five, which doesn't change depending on what mods you add to the weapon. You shoot out five bullets, you reload in five bullets. And because it's a lever action rifle, you don't just stick in a clip, you have to put in each bullet individually. And unfortunately, there is a bug that makes this a little bit worse than any other gun. If you have five bullets loaded into the gun and you shoot 
one bullet, and then you go to reload again, instead of loading in one bullet, the animation will reload in five bullets as if the rifle was empty. Essentially just increasing reload times by five times. So that can be annoying, a workaround of course would be to make sure that you fire off all five bullets then reload, but with that said that's a kind of annoying thing to try and keep track of. So with everything said, pretty much no matter how you mod it out or how you use it, it's going to be an incredibly effective weapon because of this absolute blessing of a legendary effect, and it's an absolutely welcome return of the lever action rifle. It's just like I keep saying to my friend Rifle who has an awful girlfriend, leave her rifle. And just like MacGyver, it's old and reliable. And here it is, old reliable in action. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and that has been my guide for the unique lever action rifle, Old Reliable. If you did find this video helpful, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can of course check in the description where it will be frequently updated with new links to Fallout 4 Guides. If you have ever put on shoes, please follow me on Twitter. The link will also be found in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.